What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of Adobe Illustrator. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this image right here, and we're going to make it into vector art. So let's go ahead and uh, close this out, and let's open up our image, which is going to be our PNG image right here. Click OK. Select the image. Once you select the image, you're given all these options up here. It gives you the height, the width the uh, y and x axis along with opacity several other items but we're going to look at image trace don't just click on image trace but click right here and drop it down to 16 colors if you choose anything else well let me just show you here choose that then it automatically just gets rid of it and you just have a few little lines and that's not what we want so let's control or command z to go back you choose 16 colors and it automatically converts that image into almost like a watercolor type of image and then you come over here and you click on expand once you click on expand these gives you all of your areas that you can actually paint and so how you paint and uh, we need to add in our paint tool over here or we can actually create a new uh, toolbar so let's go ahead and create a new toolbar that's specifically designed for our paint Let's come over here for Windows, Tools, and let's create a new Tools panel. And we're just going to name this one uh, Paint. Let's do Live Paint. Click on OK. Let's move this over here. Go to Windows, Tools, Default. Okay, let's move this over. Okay, now, in order to access all of the Paint tools, you need to come over here to our Shape Builder tool. So let's go ahead and drag it over, drop it over. Then let's click, choose a live bucket, live paint bucket that is, drag it over, drop it, and then click here and choose live paint selection tool, drag it over as well. So that's basically what we've got. Now we can go ahead and close out. So these are our paint tools that we are going to be working on. And so we're gonna choose our paint bucket tool and this automatically gives us a white. But we want to be able to go through see now if you come over here and you click on x there it goes click on x you'll see there's three boxes there and all of them has lines to them so what we want to do is that we want to come over here we want to add more colors so let's come over and we're going to add in just different colors continue to add in uh some more colors here let's go down and add in some green and you can just add in as many colors as you want that you think that you're going to need for your project and continue to add them in move this there bring up to like a almost to a higher pink color and then our very last one we're gonna bring this down to there okay so how you do this is um, let's go ahead and zoom in if you if you got a mouse wheel if you're actually dealing with a mouse a handheld mouse and you got a wheel you hold down alt and you're able to zoom in okay so once we zoom in then you just go over here and you choose by clicking on the area okay we've got them to set it in pink and then to go from the different colors you use your left and right arrow keys so if we go to our right we have nothing so then we go to our right again we have our blue we can click here here we can change it to this blue then we can go to a green color and then a really dark green for this area here and this area and that area and so whenever you click on the um your uh, selection tool that's basically what it looks like and now without uh, it having all them lines if you go back to your your uh, paint bucket uh, by hitting the shortcut key uh, K so keep K in mind that's for your paint bucket H is for your hand so that you can actually move around your image V is for your selection tool so but the main thing that we're going to worry about here is our K and our H so K will go back over here to our paint bucket. And let's go ahead and uh, arrow over. We're gonna choose this dark green for our, um, our 
across stem. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom in some more to where we can actually see it. Now if you notice, the more we zoom in, we don't pixelate the image. The image actually keeps its quality and does not lose anything. And that's the really cool thing about working inside of Adobe uh, Illustrator is that all of your images that you create are vector images and they do not pixelate whenever you go larger. So you can actually take this out, you can print it onto a poster or do whatever you need to do without losing anything. And so uh, let's go ahead and come down here, choose K again, let's go ahead and change the color of that one. And we can start working on painting our flower here to the, the colors that we want to paint it. So then, I mean, you can just come here and just have a ball and and do whatever you want to do and just really change the image. But you got to make sure that you find the right image because if you don't find the right image online, then you won't be able to get this type of a vector image because it just will not do right. Um, it took me several images to find in order to find this one. But... Um, but yeah, I mean, this right here is, is basically a head start on how to do vector images. Now you can save this image out. Like I said, you can put this on anything and it is going to stay the same. So let's go ahead and zoom in. And see there, all the lines are beautiful. Beautiful lines. It does not change. It does not pixelate nothing happens to it it stays just beautiful and so I mean you can come over here and zoom into this one and then you see all the lines so this is just it's wonderful um, I'm glad that uh, I decided to pick it up I mean like I said I'm learning I mean I just learned how to do this today and um, uh, learned how to add in them as well so I mean like I said, whatever I learn how to do, I'm going to uh, pass it on to everybody else so that people can learn from whatever I learn how to do. And so anyway, this is Wayne Barron with DarkFix.net with lesson number three of Adobe Illustrator. Y'all have an awesome time. Take care. Stay safe. Stay warm or stay cool. Stay dry wherever you're at in the world. All right. Bye-bye.